Hey, welcome to this radio related video and uh, this is a uh, first video and there's going to be a big series of it on the operations of your ICOM ICR 8500 so basically it's a video manual uh, you'll learn how to do basically almost anything on your radio with video so this is the first video in the basic operations of your radio so we'll uh, actually talk about two things basically today the setting of a frequency and the different modes of the radio so for example you want to listen to NOAA weather and you've got a frequency in your range here in Montreal it's 162.55 megahertz and maybe in your area it's uh, different but it should be in the same range or so so what you do First, you gotta know your frequency. After you know your frequency, what you'll do is enter that frequency. So, I wanna listen to it, I'll just punch it on the keyboard, the keypad here. So, all you have to do, and you'll see that it works well, you have to do one, six, two, dot, five, five. You can omit all the zeros and just press enter and it's gonna complete, it's an autocomplete or if you enter all the zeros it's gonna just confirm that it's okay now uh, you notice there's no beep on my radio I find it annoying so I've uh, deactivated the beeps of the key the entry but here we are on now I'm not in a good mode I'm in AM where I should be actually in FM so what you do is you've got your row of modes right here on the left of this radio Basically, VHF, UHF signals are, for the most part, in FM. So you'll just press FM. And here you go. You're in FM mode. So it's as easy as that. Uh, basically, this radio is very, very simple to operate on its basic uh, listening. Um, one thing that you got to be careful, the FM has three modes. You can either go into an FM wide and you'll see FM narrow sorry and then you'll see the little narrow icon here show up right there in the display so if I press FM you can see narrow then if you press FM again you're in the regular FM mode so uh, this is the two modes but you've got also a separate button for a wide FM which is wider it says wide FM here most signals are in FM, standard FM. You don't want it narrow necessarily, you don't want it wide. And most signals you'll want it just to be in regular FM. Another interesting feature here is that when you choose the modes, you see a little graphic at the bottom. So let's change mode and you'll see. FM narrow, FM regular FM, or wide FM. And it tells you where you are if you see the narrow is slightly narrower and there's an N for narrow showing up with the graphic and if you go into wide here you've got the W of the wide selection so you know also graphically where you are but of course just make sure FM's there and that here there's no narrow appearing right here uh, why is there FM narrow? Because there are some frequency bands now that actually have very narrow FM communications available on them. So you might want to use, especially if you're in an area where many channels are very close together in VHF and UHF. You'll actually put it in narrow so that you can uh, pinpoint, be more precise in the reception. The problem of FM narrow, if you're in an FM, regular FM signal, is you'll see that probably your squelch will actually get out. Now, maybe you have a frequency you want to listen to, but you don't want to have the is. For example, I want to listen to the 451.000 frequency by punching it in FM mode, but I don't want to have the hiss. I just want to have the communications. So what you do is you actually will, when there's only is, you turn clockwise the squelch, and when the is stops, that's basically where you'll stop 
your squelch setting. So basically here the squelch is really the uh, second button from the left on the bottom left of your radio. And so you'll leave it there. Most of the time in FM or in uh, VHF, UHF, you'll want to have your squelch. Uh, it's really very, very important because once, uh, when you're listening to some communications, intermittent communications like here, you don't want to have the hiss. And of course, if you don't want to have, um, if you want to scan, you also will need to put a squelch on if you don't want the radio to stop all the time. So that's another feature of the squelch and the squelch. Basically, you don't want it to set too high. Uh, you see here when it stops, there's a little, a little hiss. It's very short. What you could do to actually uh, lower that little hiss is basically higher your squelch a little more, but not too much. You don't want to miss out on the signals that you will listen to on the radio. So basically, you can see here it's a little shorter. Uh, one of the things of the ICOM ICR 8500s is that the squelch trail that we call is a little long, so it takes a little time before the squelch actually gets on. That's why you hear that little is before uh, the squelch actually works. So, if you listen to HF, well, you'll listen to signals. If you want to listen to, for example, the 10 meter handband, put 28.500 and you know that 28.500 first of all you don't need a squelch for that so you take it off you'll basically never use really a squelch in the FM and the HF bands now you know that this is upper sideband country so you'll have to put it in upper sideband and to switch between upper lower and CW mouse it's the same button the SSB CW button one press is USB one press is SSB, another press is CW, another press is CW narrow, narrow shows here in the display. Uh, keep in mind that mode does not work unless you have the installed narrow CW filter. I don't have it installed so it doesn't work. And if you press SSB again then you'll come back to the upper sideband. So all you have to do is uh, find a signal and here you go. So this is really the basic operation. Remember you've got your wide FM mode here on the left. You've got your FM and FM narrow here. You've got your AM mode here. This one has AM as AM wide. You can see here on the display. And has AM narrow. In AM narrow mode it uses the same single sideband uh, filter of 2.2 kilohertz or 2.7 sorry so here again most of the times you'll want to be in AM mode the AM wide mode will actually give you clearer um, sound but if you have lots of signals adjacent to that station to that frequency you'll actually hear everything so you rarely want to put it in AM wide actually and um, of course your SSB which uh, is in order of upper sideband, lower sideband, CW mode, CW narrow, you need a filter for that and it comes back to upper sideband. So this is the first video of the basic operations of your ICOM ICR8500 receiver and uh, there's gonna be lots lots more explaining how to work your radio so uh, listen and keep in touch to this uh, ICOM channel where you'll basically learn how to work on your ICOM ICR8500 and also your ICOM ICR20 and uh, if you can well play the video and uh, you know fill around the, your radio at the same time as I do on the radio and uh, on the video and uh, tune the same frequencies and do the same maneuvers that I show you like that you'll get slowly acquainted with your radio and get better and better at using it to its maximum. Uh, I use my radio to the fullest and that's the beauty of having such a nice radio is actually using all the features of the radio. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, if you have any comments or questions let us know and of course uh, if you have any 
Um, if you enjoy our channel, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Lots of videos coming up. So, uh, 73s, and uh, hope to see you again on the ICOM channel. Bye-bye.